Chapel Hill. So be a touchback and will come out to the 25. Um, but we'll see plenty of him as Drake May rolls out here on first down. And his pass is caught at the 32-yard line by Nate McCollum, who's been Drake May's top target so far this year. They keep it on the ground. And it's a first down pickup. Hit to breaking tackles. And they finally get him down at the 33. 120 pound back. A nice hole off the left side. Good vision. Especially after they started poorly a week ago against Clemson. May from the pocket now steps up. And he's dragged down back at the 10 by Kavon Darton, the former walk on, to force a field goal try. Yeah, it's huge. So here you're going to see up in the loop by Darton. And really well done. Marlo Wax is going to come pick that off. Now a 29-yard field goal attempt. <laughs> Noah Burnett puts it through, and so North Carolina gets three. But the way they started that drive with... He's the, listed as a tight end, but really he's a receiver outside. Going to keep it on the ground with Hampton, and they're able to move the chains out to the 33. Hampton, a true sophomore. Movements this offseason, testament to Coach Venables, his staff, those players putting the work in. What a game today, Dallas. And wow. the is blocked. It's picked up by the punter, Ben Kiernan. He takes off at the 40-yard line, gets drilled right at the line to gain. Oh, screen pass on second and long. McCollum inside the 25 and knocked out of bounds after another first down. Nobody was able to close on McCollum, and they're out there in the flats. Nice pickup by Hampton. Here's Hampton running the ball. Pinball's off of a big hit and gets the first down to the five-yard line. He's running mad. Watch him as he lowers the shoulder on Austin Rune. Just bow. Runs been up to notch. I bet a quarterback snake. Yep. Tush push to the back of future. Quickly top five pick, Drake Mays. This is the most in vogue thing across college and NFL football. Just get the Rallis. Play action. May from the pocket. Another on target pass inside the 35 yard line. Spread it out inside the 25. May taking a shot, going for Nesbitt. And Nesbitt pulls it in. Touchdown, Carolina. Just a simple slot fade, one on one, man to man coverage. And you know you got the height advantage. Amon Greenwood, he's 5'10", Nesbitt 6'5 plus, and that ball could not have been placed any better. Over the shoulder, excellent job by Nesbitt. And they barely had the ball here in the first half. Schrader to throw. Over the middle, it is caught, and it's a first down. Donovan Brown on the ground. With throws down the field. Got him in the backfield to help block. Schrader's pass into traffic is caught inside the 45-yard line by Hatcher. He goals, but Syracuse is in North Carolina territory. It's another really good throw on the slant from Garrett Schrader. I... Schrader scrambling. Got to do something. He fumbles it. Ball is loose at the 45, chopped out by Cedric Gray. Syracuse got it back, but it's fourth down. He had nowhere to go. Gray adds in late and gets the stop. How's he going to let this one go over his head? Syracuse is down there, and they catch it at the five-yard line. So they finally pin North Carolina deep with a nice 40-yard punt. This time, they just got to know each other. A lot of commonality in the pass game, and it's really worked out well here to start this season. They surveying and then having to step up and he sacked, got out of the end zone, but sacked around the three yard line. So May lined up in the end zone here on third down at 12. Syracuse rushing four. May lobbing it to the sideline and it's caught. Let's see if he got it. Yep, he was in bounds. J.J. Jones. The North Carolina picks up through the air because of the accuracy of Drake May. What a throw and catch there between May and Jones. May again complete. Pesor pushed back at the 40. 18 more yards through the air for North Carolina. Middle of the field is just wide open right now for North Carolina. Midway point of the second quarter. They got 300 yards of total offense. And May going downtown, got a receiver. And the money. And down to the one yard line.
is Nate McCullough. What a beautiful eight yards made to McCullough. Well, he had either one. Tess Walker had the coverage beat, as did Nate McCullum. Pick your poison. He completed the catch for Nate McCullum. First and goal. May. Pitches it forward. Touchdown, Copenhagen. 23 0 UNC. Easy. Let's bring Copenhaver back across. Fake the zone read. Get Drake May on the move where he's very comfortable. It's a little flip to a wide open tight end to cap off. <laughs> Not sure how to respond to that. May over the middle. Again finds his tight end. Nesbitt. Past midfield. Drake May thrown for almost 250 yards in this first half. Once again, working the middle of the shut it down at five or six, and as you said, easy pitch and catch. May in trouble, gets out of there, on the move, takes off, still going. And finally wrapped up at the 12 to go down. He, he's okay taking a hit. He said that's something he's had to work on. Meanwhile, Darton hurt for Syracuse after that 12-yard game. We feel That one through, so it's 27 nothing. Tar Heels. 13, but he's averaging about five yards per attempt. Syracuse one of five and third down. Schrader on the move, throwing to the sideline, and it's pulled in for a first down by Hatcher. Coming back to the ball for what is the best play here by Yamari Hatcher. Working back, fighting back inside. Schrader keeping it, got the first down and more inside the 10. And finally knocked to the ground at the six yard line. First and goal. And they're going to get on and snap it in quarterback's name. Allen over the top and in for the touchdown. Syracuse finally on the board. That was a great drive to start the third quarter. Oh, really? Yamari Hatcher on that big third down catch. Dual effort to come back for that football and then cap it off with an Allen touchdown over the top. And the May family. And yeah, Drake surely got some toughness being a little brother. And gonna throw it deep here. And another beautiful toss on a rope inside the 20 to Nate McCullough. The route right here by Nate McCullough. A little post corner. And this ball once again. Two for two for Burnett today. Short attempts. This one a little bit longer. 36. But no problem. Three for three for Burnett today. Six for six on the year. And North Carolina extends its lead. Said occasionally video games, but mostly it's watching football. Ball, ball, all the time. That pass behind the intended receiver. And it's caught. Pesor caught the redirection. Now he's on the loose inside the 20. Taking it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. That might be in the play of the day in college football. to put an exclamation point on this off offensive performance for the Tar Heels. And now May over 400 passing yards on the day. It felt like there was a... Schrader on third down and five. And it's intercepted as Elijah Huzzy jumped over the receiver and picked it off. For Huzzy, a four-year player at East Tennessee State where he had 12 picks there. He is just an excellent player. Watch him drive with his football, hands underneath. We're looking for instincts. We saw him make one play, and we said we want that guy. May from the pocket. A long throw. Oh, what a catch. I think he's out of bounds. No, he was not. Wow. Walker, and that's why the coaching staff thinks he might be their best receiver. As May shaking his throwing hand after that long pass. Full extension. Climb the ladder and go get it. Go over the top there. Oh, yeah. Dead mate dumps it off underneath to Hood. And calmly buries that one. 40 to 7. But then the home stretch is really what's going to be the challenge and the test for this football team. Interception at the 45 yard line by Amari Campbell. A true freshman picks it off. The coaches talked about his instincts. They say he's going to be a great one. Duke. 
North Carolina tried to get back to the ACC title game where it lost to Clemson last year. Remember, no more divisions. Top two teams, winning percentage. will play in the ACC title game. North Carolina has... Give something. Give